Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another amazing video. Now, one more time. I am so sorry uh -huh. to you guys. I am one part away from being done the Brawl Ball video. I added, literally I added an entire other section to my Brawl Ball video so it took me like another four hours to do to get my planning ready to get people in a room to record to explain properly I mean this is taking a long time and when I've when I produce the final product I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be happy and you guys are gonna soar up in trophies and again I just want to do this correctly I probably could have been done today as I'm recording pretty early it's only 1 p.m. so I could have probably rushed through the final couple parts and have it done for you today but that is not the style I want for this video I know you guys are super eager to see this gameplay um, and to see the guide and just everything I have for you guys, but unfortunately, I, I just want this to be as good as possible. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to watch this and a lot of you guys are going to be referring to this. So unlike the other YouTubers, um, you know, I really, really, really want this to be an absolute perfection where there is no lies, everything is truth to the T. And just everything is 100% factual. So anyways, what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys the first couple rounds of a very competitive Game Lee tourney. So what Game Lee is, is they've had two seasons so far. Uh, we won the first one, uh, myself, second best, and Jack. Then the second one was a couple weeks ago. And the winners were Jigsaw Apache and I don't even know what their third was to be honest. It was, it was actually a really surprising win. Um, and we've come back for a vengeance this time. So my team... Um, Space Station Gaming as of now is myself, Tyrant, Squashy, and OG. You guys know that. But unfortunately, OG could not make it this week. Um, he was really, really busy with something. And he put the trust in us to lead basically the starting round. So what we did was we faced IX Black, which consisted of a very, very, very strong team. And then we also faced Clash Kings, I believe was their name. Now, I've seen their names all the time on ladder. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you guys both sets because we don't have the Brawl Ball video. I just want to get some extra gameplay out for you guys. So it's going to be competitive competitive gameplay. There is five sets. It's a best out of five. So the first one to win three sets wins. And then each set is a best out of three. This is the normal format nowadays for competitive that's at a high level. So anyways, let's hop into the games. Let's show you guys what happened and let's just get into it. So there are bans and what my team decided to ban was Tick, I believe. And what they decided to ban, I think was... Gene, I believe so. They saw my Gene. They're like, hey, we want none of that. Um, no, sorry, it wasn't Gene. It was Primo. It was Primo and Tick. They've been Tick, we've been Primo. Um, which left Sandy. You guys know Sandy is definitely the strongest brawler in the game right now. So we're obviously going to be using Sandy. Myself and Tyron are both able to win our lanes. They went with some like mid Rosa. I don't really know what that was all about, but they were going with it. Anyways, I'm going to put my super down. I'm kind of trapped up here, so I have to make my way back down. Um, Arc Rider did stay in my super way longer than he should have. Uh, I go down over there, um, which was kind of an unforced death, but I didn't really have anywhere else to go, so it was fine. I charged my super pretty close to it. Squashy's doing a great job on the Piper over there. He's doing fantastic hitting his shots. Um, I'm going to be able to get my kill over there. There are gems over here, but I don't want to go for them because I know that Rose is going to be thinking that I'm going to be going for them. So instead, I decide to just chill, charge my super, and do as much as I can. You guys can see I'm roaming in my super. I got my super again, so we're just stacking. <clears throat> we're stacking super on super. The biggest part with Sandy is people know you're invisible, but people still expect plays. So in my head, when I'm using a Sandy, I'd say, okay, like, 60% of the time, people are going to go for those gems, or 70% or 80%. So I want to kind of go against those odds all the time. So I want to do things that people aren't expecting. People are going to think that we fall back. So we're just in here chipping them down, giving them no chance to win. Uh, we're going to be able to get the dub, and that is going to be the first uh, the first game in the first set. So we managed to get star player over there. Again, no surprise since we dominate on Sandy. Um, but either way, we really don't want to use Sandy in competitive, to be honest. Um, we like to rely more on our skill than just a broken brawler. Both teams have them, and although this is a little bit of a mismatch, I had a 12.50 Sandy, and Arc Rider still has it at 4.19. It's still a broken brawler, and anything can happen with it, so we really don't want to play Sandy. We expected them to ban it. They didn't. That was our fault. We should have banned it. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's hop into the second game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We decided to stick with the exact same comp. They decided to copy our Piper mid. Piper mid is obviously the strategy, but then they decided to go with the Poco, which is a really, really odd decision. Um, so again, we're going up this left side over here, just trying to get a few chip shots on this uh, on this Sandy over here, trying to charge our super a little bit. We weren't able to do so, but that's fine. We kind of have really good positioning over here. 
That Sandy is stuck over there. There's nothing it can do, so we're just going to get some shots off on it. We're going to be able to pick up the kill over there. I believe we're one shot to super at this point, if I count it correctly. Yep, so I just got my super over there. We're just going to be chilling. Uh, we're going to throw this down on our lane. Again, this Poco has a general understanding of where we are. It used its super, which is a really good decision in the respect that it's going to be able to find out where we are, but really bad because at the same time, you know, it died. It was a waste of a super. So anyways, we're going to get into these bushes. I do go down one more second, and the Piper wouldn't have known we were there. But unfortunately, I do go down. Tyrant's just going to get trampled by the... Uh, by the minecart over there and i have my super i thought i was in a bush but <laughs> i wasn't over there so i'm just gonna throw my super down again it's really good for area denial so i wanted not really use it for invisibility but also to chip them i'm gonna go up over here this is gonna be a super easy kill just a piper going way too far up um same thing over here one shot to my super i'm gonna get it throw it down and again it's just that area denial as soon as they come out of spawn they can't really get near us because they just get chipped so tyrant uh so i mean squashy is going to go down over there but that's fine i'm able to pick up a couple kills uh tyrant's gonna pick up the gems so we're chilling i'm gonna go down but i was just doing damage so it doesn't really matter um but yeah right now we're just chilling we're in our spawn i'm gonna throw my super down so they can't really come on to us uh very well Tyrant's going to be able to get the kill on Ark. Um, he's just running around, kills the Piper, and that's going to be the end of the SNG set. Or as you guys know, it, gem grab. So again, we got back-to-back -back star players, but it's not really a huge accomplishment since we are the Sandy. Um, so it's GG's to them. That was the first set. So we're up at one nothing in sets. Let's hop into the next game, and let's see what happens. So here we go into the next band or into the next game. Um, at this point, we thought that the rules were if you ban one brawler, it's banned for the entire game. But apparently, it was per set. So we ch we our ban still stayed the same. So we still have a primo and tick ban. Um, we decided to go with a sandy uh, again, just because tick would probably be the ideal mid. But without tick, um, we probably think sandy is the strategy for the mid. So you guys can see we're going up very well against them. Uh, Squashy's doing a great job on defense over here. He didn't miss that shot, which almost led to his death, but it was fine. And at this point, I'm kind of just like charging my supers off these guys. They can't really take me down. I'm kind of just chilling. I get super low, but still I'm trying to charge my super off of this bull. Um, the bull can't really go anywhere. We know he's somewhere in that mid grass. So again, I'm just going to walk up, throw my super so that it hits the safe as well as them. And they just can't regen. Unfortunately, I went down. Like, I got really lucky. He just, like, was spraying at Tyrant, and I just got Tyrant juked, and I was just behind him. But either way, we dominated. That is the end of the first game in Bone Tunnel. It was, it was, that one was just super easy. We definitely outcomped them there. Got the star player again, but again, not that big of a deal. We are the Sandy. So let's hop into the next game, and let's see what happened. So here we go into the next game. They decided to copy our comp. They did that a lot. Um... You don't know these guys are pretty good to be fair to them. You just don't normally see them in competitive. They might just be getting into it. I see them all the time on ladder. So they probably don't know. There is a big difference between competitive comps and ladder comps. So we're kind of just they're kind of just feeling it out at the moment. So they squash the entire both go to the safe. Squash says he's coming back. I say no, don't worry, I'm a Sandy, I got this. So I push them back, I put my super down. The bull's gonna get a couple extra shots off on the safe, but that's fine. Uh, we're also doing a tremendous job on the safe. We cleared it. We're going to go up. We have a 1% lead after that exchange, so that's fine. Except we're in a much more aggressive position than they are. Uh, we're going to get our super. We're going to throw it down right over there just so that we know exactly where they are. And we can just chill and regen. So we're just waiting a little bit. We're going to move up now. Barley does a good job with that area denial shot, but we're just going to go right beside it be able to get that kill. And again, I'm just charging my super. Hitting the safe doesn't really do that much. It's much more important. Now we're just charging our super, so we get it again. We're going to put it down. It's hitting the safe, and it's hitting them. We're going to go out for an all-out barrage on the safe, and that is going to end the game. So that's four games up, four games down. Um, we're definitely crushing them as of now. We're going to go into the next set. If we win this set, we move on to the next round. And um, it's Brawl Ball. It's our favorite mode. We love Brawl Ball. Everyone does. So let's hop into it, and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go into the next set. We decided to go with BB, Daryl, and Sandy. So that's a very, you know, normal comp. The Daryl was kind of just like, Squashy really likes Daryl. So let's just run it. At this point, we're feeling super confident. I mean, by no means are we playing any bad brawler. Daryl is definitely very playable here. But um, Squashy fe felt confident on it. There were probably a couple better options, but it's fine. Squash is going to go down over there. We're going to use our super to try and slow them down. We're going to be able to get two kills on them. Tyron's going to pass the ball up to us. We are going to walk up and just put that one very easily into the net so it's going to be one to nothing for us we're doing very good at this point um 30 seconds just into the game so we're doing a fairly good job squashy has his role he's probably trying to wait 
um, for us to make a couple moves so we can go and pick up the ball and be, you know, using the super, he's going to try and pick up the ball and get a goal. So he's going to put the ball forward. He's going to go for a roll, but he's going to be batted down immediately. I come out of the, uh, of the sand and just start shooting away. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of them right beside me, and I almost get two of them. I do end up getting two of them, but at the same time, I die. So, you know, not really the greatest trade because, you know, we're, we're just trying to dominate out here. <laughs> so anyway, Squash has got the ball again. He's going to roll right into them. He's going to go for the goal. He was not able to get it. We're going to go up. They can't really do much about us over here. We're going to use our super, and again, area denial. They're going to have to go to a lane. They're kind of forced there. So we're just chilling. Um, I'm trying to regen over here, but I can't really do that. I have to go play defense. So Squash is going to be able to make the save over there. He's going to pick up the ball and kind of just stall time. He's going to go for the roll and get the Sandy. So really, really good play over there by Squashy. Tyrant's able to get a kill with the ball. And Squash is going to pass it to Tyrant, and that's just going to be an easy goal for Tyrant over there. And that play, what I would have done if I was Squash, is instead of making a risky pass, instead what I would have done is walk forward. The BB, obviously, the only play it has to stop the ball is to get you with the knockback. So I would have just kind of sl slowed down, let the BB shoot, move back, avoid the knockback, and just walk that in. It was probably a safer play. Either way, both were good plays. That's just what I personally would have done. So if you guys want a couple options of what to do in that scenario, that's what you do. But either way, you know, we played well. We're going to last game here. We're up 5-0, so hopefully we can pull out the dub. Let's see if we can get it, and let's hop into it. Okay, so going into the next game, I'm going to start this one off by saying we lost a game. And the reason I didn't show, I'm not showing that loss right now is because we readied up on tick. Well, we, I'm not going to say we didn't. Squashy readied up on tick. Uh, at this point, we were kind of like feeling ourselves. We're like, okay, we're going to win with whatever. So Squashy's like, okay, I'm going to go tick. We played, we scored the first goal, we're a little bit into the game, we're like, why are these guys spinning? And we're thinking, and we're like, oh, Squashy's playing Tick. We're like, well, that's a banned brawler, so GG to us. So they took that game, it is currently 1-1 one one in this set, so if they win this game, we move on to the next set. If not, um, we win the game. They're using a Shelly now, we're able to get the kill on their Sandy, Tyron's going to pick up the ball. He should have put that in the net, he wasn't able to, the Sandy's going to get the kill on him over there. Um, we're kind of just juking it out over here. Squash is going to be able to pick up that kill. We're going to put our super out. Very area denial. Just like normal. Squash is going to go down, but he had no way of staying alive there. So we're just chilling over here. Arc Rider with a good super, so it's going to force me out into another direction. I'm going to put my super down. Area denial again. These guys tend to body block the area denial a lot. I don't know whether that's a good strategy or not. It might be, uh, but at the same time, it might not be. I'm still unsure of it. So anyways, we're walking up over here. Squash is doing a really good job of taking down Arc Rider. Uh, he's going to be able to pick up the kill over there. I give the ball to Tyrant because, you know, I'm Sandy. I'd rather he have the ball and I just shoot them. He's also got more HP. So anyways, he's just going to walk the ball forward. A little bit of BM. Going to spin in front of their net. Um, but yeah, that is the game. So, oh, sorry. That was the first goal. I, I didn't mean that was a game. Whoops. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, 40, uh, 50 seconds left in this game. Um... Good knockback over there from Tyre. We're going to get our super out. A little bit of a tough job defending here. There's really no way I could do it. I actually almost got it. He's at 243 health. So we actually did almost defend that. But unfortunately, we weren't able to. So it's 1-1. Um, 40 seconds left in the game. I get my super. Going to throw it right into the middle. Tyrant is going to miss a couple bats over there. So he's going to go down. We're able to do some good jukes over there. Tyrant might have saved me. I don't know if he did or if he didn't. But either way, really good job over there. Or not Tyrant, sorry. Squashy. So either way, GG's over there to Squashy. Um, I'm going to pass the ball to Squashy so I can charge my super up again. He's going to give it back, but I don't want to reveal my location, so I didn't pick it up. Instead, Tyron got it, and we just have really amazing pressure here, so there's absolutely nothing they can do. Tyron picks up the ball. He's chilling. He's going to go for the trick shot. I'm just going to walk in the way, steal it, and just like, basically the ball is in the net. I don't really know how that's not a goal, but we're just BMing over here. Tyron's going to get a couple hits, going to use his ball, and I'm going to put it in the net, and that is going to be the game and the match. So that is the first round against them very good opponents ggs to them i just don't think they were ready for our level of competitive brawl stars yet so anyways let's hop into the next games it's going to be against ix black which is a very well respected team within the community it consists of min Wung, who is you guys know him. he's what he's probably the second most popular korean player in the game he does live in na but he has a great youtube following i've, I've played with him in a couple videos he's very very good he's gotten a lot of rank 35s um, Kennedy, who is arguably the best piper in the game and has been for literally two years. Kennedy is an amazing piper, an amazing player. And Loki, I forgot who their third was. Um, 
So shoutouts to you as well, whoever the third was. I'll probably talk about you in game. Anyways, the bands were for the first game, if I believe correctly, Sandy and Pick, I think. So anyways, let's hop into the games, exact same format, and let's see what happened. Okay, so the bands were Sandy and not Tick, but Barley. So we, did, we both decided to go with like the exact same comp. Now this is the second game into the series. For some reason, the friendly battle didn't load. Like we didn't get the replay of it. There's no replay uh, option available. We won it in like 50 seconds. We dominated them. But we're going to the second game here. Um, we had this comp. They were using another mid. I believe their mid was 8-bit. Um, and we destroyed them with the shield BB. So we decided that uh, we're going to stick with their cut with this comp. They decided to copy us. Unfortunately, we got hit by that tick head. I'm lining up our shot on the bottom here. We have Squashy trying to deal with Min Wung, and this is annoying as a tick and as a bull because obviously tick is super annoying. But at the same time, you can't control where the shots for the tick goes. So Min Wung was one shot and he was alive for so much longer than he should have been. Not at all Squashy's fault, just the unluckiness of the RNG for tick. Anyways, we're gonna be able to pick up the kill over there. Tyrant did an amazing job, got their safe to 39%. And we're just chilling up here. We're gonna bat. We're gonna miss our bat. Sorry, on Kennedy, um, but we are gonna be able to take him out. Uh, Tyron's gonna go right onto the safe over there, and he's a little bit low. Me and Squash are just regening, so we're telling Tyrant to back up. We'll take our time to win this game. Let's all just regen over here. Seventeen percent. Squash is just going in. Um, he's gonna go down, but we have my bubble up. Uh, my shield, at least. Close to my bubble, they have the ty they Tyrant has his roll, so I mean we're just gonna use our bubble. We're gonna be able to hit the safe twice, and that is going to end the high uh, set. I'm sorry we only got one game in. I do apologize, but um, you know Brawl Stars isn't letting us get the other one. So anyways, it's one set for us to zero to them again, up to three sets or it makes it. I believe the next game is on Sunny Soccer, which is actually a fantastic set. So let's hop into there and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so again, this is the last time it's happening for this video, but the friendly battle did not record itself. If um, I'm, I'm a bit inclined to show you guys proof, but I think you guys are just going to believe me. It's a little bit of a glitch sometimes. It happens a lot more on friendlies than it does on ladder. Um, I don't know why that's a thing. I don't, I don't really understand it, but it happens. Anyways, we scored the first goal last game by getting a BB walk-in. We won it in 37 seconds, so I tried to go for it again. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to over there. But I'm just going to throw the ball in, and again, we kind of got two cheeky goals to start off both games, which was basically like us just picking up the ball with shield BB and walking it in. Um, those are more IQ plays and positioning, which is which is stuff we're going to be talking about in the video coming up. You guys know that. Um, and this game I actually really enjoyed because I just worked on the defense part of the video. And you guys can see I'm 1v3 over here. This is a great example. I might actually put this in my video. Um, Min Wing's gonna pick up the ball over here. It's a 1v3. I just held really good positioning. I'm gonna back up over there. I am gonna die, but I do good damage. The ball goes into the corner, so that's exactly where you want to put the ball if you're in a little bit of a trap situation. You guys can see they have us from all sides, but we're doing a great job of chipping them down. Again, really great positioning. We don't really have to pick up the ball. We don't really have to hit them too much. Just really good positioning helps out a lot. So we're near uh, Kennedy and Ming Woon. Perfect play over there by Squashy. Takes his time, gets a knockback. Um, that's also going to be something I talk about in the Brawl Ball video. Again, just perfect defense. Ball goes back into the corner. Um, they're still applying this intense pressure. I'm going to use my ball to get Kennedy as low as possible. I'm going to get hit by that tick head over there. But it's going to blast me right towards Kennedy. I almost got the kill, but I wasn't able to. Squashy's going to go down. I'm going to go down. We've advanced the ball up the field. We're able to take care of Kennedy finally. And I'm going to pick up the ball and just walk the ball forward. So this is exactly what I was talking about. We had perfect defense there. And that's so hard to replicate into a video. So that's why it's taking such a long time. But that was amazing defense. I'm probably going to record that and use that for my video. And from that great defense, literally a minute long pressure in our zone. We're able to bring the ball up, turn it into offense, and Tyrant is going to put it in the net. So that was amazing. To be honest, I think I'm going to go record that after this video. Uh, just grab a screen recording of that because that was just perfect, perfect defense. So that's going to be the end of the Brawl Ball set. That's what I really wanted to show you guys out of this entire video. So it's 2-0 in the sets. We're at 4 nothing total in games. I believe the next map is Minecart Madness, which Kennedy usually would dominate Piper in, which is a huge part of why we banned Piper. The first two maps, it wasn't really playable, but definitely in this one. So let's hop into that set. That was definitely the closest set in this entire video. Don't know if we win, don't know if we lose. So let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so going into the first Minecart set, bands were Sandy and... I can't remember the last band. I believe it... Oh, Sandy and Piper. I don't know why I just had such a brain freeze. 
Um, anyways, they we're running both gene mids, both ticks, and both BBs. Minwoong and Tyron Star are both amazing BBs. Um, you guys know about myself on Gene, uh, Pablo Escobar, can't really expose who that really is, but also a really amazing Gene. And then Kennedy's just a fantastic player, so is Squashy, so there's some really good matchups over here. Gonna be able to pull Minwoong, and something that's really rare is when you pull someone, you get four total hits on them. And I actually got four total hits, which means I got my super rate back. And, um, you know, I'm just chilling over here. Kennedy's one shot, so I don't really want to get that pull on him. Um, the scariest thing in gem grab at competitive is messing up because one mess up can cost an entire game so you have a lot on your shoulders especially if you're playing the mid um both jeans both have pull and one missed pull or one hit pull can change a game um so it's five to three right now you guys can see pablo is just holding on to his super for a fairly long time i already used my super once pablo's going to continue holding his we're able to break that tick head um, i was a little bit inclined to move forward over there and get a pull on Meng Wung, but there was really no reason to squashy is going to be able to kill Kennedy. Uh, it's 8-3, to three, so I'm not really trying to force anything. No reason to go up to aggro. Um, no reason to try and go for a risky pull. We just got to wait until gems spawn on our, our side of the minecart. And when the minecart goes by, we can be able to pick him up. Luckily for them, the past three have gone on their side. Now the past four. So, I mean, this game should have been over by now if you go from a 50-50 spawn rate. But they got the last four. They got super lucky. So we finally got one over there. So it's currently 9-6. to six. They are catching up just due to the gems RNG. Um, they got another gem, which is pretty sad, but, um, we're just chilling over here again. No risky plays. We know eventually we're going to get a gem and Squashy is going to pick one up. So you guys see Pablo's help his super for the entire game. I don't know if you guys saw what happened to Tyrant over there, but he got bumped by that train and by Ming Wung. Anyways, we're chilling. We were able to hit the pull on Ming Wung and we got that. Uh, we went for like a safety pull over there. Um, I continued moving back and the pull wasn't really the priority. It was more about... Um, you know, just making sure we didn't get pulled. So anyways, that's going to end the first game. A tip that I'd do there is I used three pulls. I only hit two. Again, one of them was a safety pull. Didn't really try and hit it. But go for your pulls. You guys saw Pablo held on to his pull for the entirety of the game. He didn't use it until the very end when he had a very low percentage chance to get in the pull. If you're down, go up. Try and go for something. Don't wait for things to happen. That game should have been over long, long before then. They got lucky it lasted that long due to the uh, gem RNGs. So anyways, just make sure if you're playing Gene, you're not afraid. Just go up, make those pulls. Playing with Tyrant and Squashy is like super easy because everyone is like super supportive of each other. So if I miss a pull, I know like it's whatever. I'll get my pull back. They'll like, they'll have my back. So anyways, there's going to be hopefully one more game, maybe two more games in the set. This game was super, super close. So we're going to hop into the second game in Gem Grab. If we win this, we move on to the semifinals and, fi and hopefully the finals today. And if we lose, we're going to be going down to the loser's bracket, which has a small, or not lose, but, you know, if we lose, it goes to another set, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Loser's bracket, not fun. You guys know we don't want to lose. So let's hop into the next game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so exact same comps. Um, there's definitely no other comp that really works on this map with these current band sets. Um, so we're just chilling. 1-1 um, one, one in gem RNGs. Gem RNGs is super huge on this map, which is really unfortunate. But it is what it is. Anyways, Minwung is doing an amazing job at holding Tyrant back. But at the same time, Tyrant is winning in the RNG battle. I'm sorry, not the RNG battle, the hit battle. I'm also definitely using Minwung as kind of like a supercharge. Because he's playing far more aggressive than, than Pablo is. So anyways, um, good kill over there by Squashy on his lane. He's also holding Pablo back. I'm waiting for Minwung to move up a little bit because he's a lot more easier to charge my super off of than um, Pablo is. Anyways, we're just chilling over here. We're being a little bit more passive. Squashy with a little bit of a bad tick head as it got eliminated straight away. Not trying to go up too far, obviously, because their gene does have super. Now we have super, so we're a little bit more of a threat. We can move up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we're still being passive. It's the same situation as last time. We had an early lead, so no reason for us to go too far up ahead. You guys see, again, the lucky RNGs. They got three in a row. If we had three in a row, it would be nine to one. It would basically be a done deal, but they got three in a row, so it's going to be six to four. Um, so we're just chilling over here. Pablo's gonna try and use his super. Um, so I kind of stood behind Tyrant for the majority of that. Um, I kind of just backed off because I knew he really wanted to get a pull. He was like a little bit agitated, kind of, that he wasn't able to get one. We're gonna be able to hit a maximum range pull on him over there. I mean, Wung is gonna pick up the gems, but that is fine because he can't be as aggro anymore. If you have your mid uh, with the gems, it's obviously ideal. But if you have a lane with gems, you obviously don't want that because it can't be as aggro. So you're gonna see he's gonna be a lot more defensive over here. Pablo does have his super, he's flashing it. 
Uh, we were able to pick up ours over there. He's going to go for a pull. He probably could have gone for one over there. He elects not to. Um, we're waiting for this train to go by. Squash is going to pick up both of them. And we now have countdown. So we're able to win the game over here. Tyrant goes up and he's like, oh wait, I have a gem. So he runs back. Um, I'm waiting for the gene just to come towards me. Um, three top, really easy to get that kill. We're going to get it. Um, Ming Wung also has some gems. He's going to go up a little bit aggro. He's going to actually get kill, or he's going to get a kill on Tyrant. Um, which causes gems to start countdown again, but I mean, Squashy has 3, I have 10, no way I'm dying, I'm not Tyrant Star, so anyways, Tyrant's gonna stand there, kinda just soak up a little bit of damage, it's gonna take them too long, he's gonna knock back the BB, so as long as I don't get pulled, we're fine, I don't get pulled, and that is going to end the game, and the set. So those were the two rounds that we got to play yesterday in Gamely, um, the next two rounds are going to be really, really good. As we're facing two very top teams, Tribe Gaming, and if the bracket does go as planned and we end up winning, then we're probably going to face IX Gaming, which you guys know very well. So those are two really good opponents. So anyways, that is going to be it for the video today. Brawl Ball video coming out tomorrow, I promise. I'm it's I'm just trying to get it as detailed as possible and I know a lot of you guys are saying you know don't worry you don't have a set timetable especially since I'm uploading uh, videos daily just continue doing what you're doing get the best possible video we have Bravo is out every day there's no rush you guys are going to gain your trophies so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed smash a like and subscribe if you'd like to see this type of videos and that is going to be it for me today I will catch you guys later wish me luck in the tournament tonight that will be it I will catch you guys peace